Echo, facing yourself. You're gonna think Echo is a really great game, a really annoying game, or you're gonna think it's a mix of both. This is a giant five hour puzzle where the enemy is you. Here you play as N who enters a palace to right a wrong, to resurrect someone she killed. You arrive at this massive palace and the lights are out. Then as you progress branching with your AI, which is some of my favorite parts of this game, you notice life forms on the ground that slowly become larger every time the lights come back on, to realize they're all copies of you. This palace is crawling with clones trying to stop you from accomplishing your goal. There isn't much to the level design or missions. The palace is gorgeous but slowly it feels less impressive and the gameplay loop is the same throughout. The greatness comes in dealing with the hordes of clones as you go deeper into the lower parts of this palace. You slowly start to realize that these clones are learning from you. As you play the game, the lights go on and off. You would think the lights going off is the terrifying part, but it isn't. The scary part is when the lights are on, because this is when the house is watching you. You have plenty of tools at your disposal. You have charges that you can do special moves with. Initially two, but every five blue orbs you find, you'll be given another charge. One refills by itself, the others be filled with white orbs that are in abundance. You have a lethal gun that can shoot through multiple enemies at a time. You have a non-lethal shot that can knock enemies in range down. You can take enemies out from behind. The issue, however, is that enemies don't stay down. When the lights go off or when they come back on, every enemy you took down is back. And this time, each and every one of them is doing what the house saw you do. If the house sees you shoot, enemies will now shoot. Though either way, they are coming for you. It's just up to you how aggressive and deadly they are. This is where the puzzle comes into play. Are you patient enough to scout things out while the lights are on and do the killing and item grabbing in the dark or do you think you can run through a room killing everything in your way get what you need and get out this forces the player to be careful with their choices and what they do don't touch the water when the lights are on and enemies will be afraid of water don't open doors when the lights are on and enemies won't know how to open doors what they know resets every checkpoint and checkpoints in this game can be frustrating especially the ore missions that kept every one of this game's six chapters this is where all of your skill timing and risk taking comes into play as the game doesn't save an ounce of progress and doesn't care how close you get to collecting all 40 orbs. If you die with only 3 to go, you're starting all over again. These are the moments that will break you. These are the moments that will make you rush, pull out your gun in a desperate situation because you're so close and you think you can handle the guns until you've collected what you need. These are the moments that make this game just as frustrating as it is great. My only complaints with this game are of course the zero checkpoints in the orb sections, enemies not permanently staying down. I feel this could have been done for an easier difficulty as the concept of the game could stay the same of enemies still alive learning. It feels a bit frustrating at times when I feel I just got out of a tough situation only to be jumped and die when the lights come back on. And lastly, the banner sort of stops as you get deep into the game, which is actually my biggest issue. I love this game's dialogue and would have liked more. I sort of started to forget what I was fighting for. But the gameplay here is great and challenging. Beating Echo is no easy feat. You need patience to get through even on its easiest difficulty. I give Echo a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Echo, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks for watching. See that? The suit's being enabled to interface with the palace. Maybe it's Foster trying to help. Foster was many things, but not a systems physicist. Why are you still denying that we have a chance? Everything around us is a marvel. Everything around you is critically unstable. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash supercangaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.